Hi everyone, welcome to Dragon Image. Today we're having a look at the 2.6 meter telescopic crossbar background system. So this particular background system is designed with the telescopic crossbar. Um, our other ones have multiple pieces to create the crossbar, where this one is telescopic. Um, it comes in this handy kind of kit. Um, the length of the bag is kind of dictated by the telescopic crossbar. Um, so that's why it's so long. Um, so you've basically got this crossbar here. This crossbar here has two female 5.8, uh, 5.8 spigot connections um, and gives you a total width of three meters. Uh, the system basically uh, has a, what would say, so counterclockwise lock, clockwise unlock to allow you to adjust the width of it. Um, it's got locking on both sides. If you want to put a paper roll on this, I'd usually take this silver part off completely, feed it on, and then put it back. Otherwise, it probably won't fit. Um, in also in the bag, we've got the two light stands. These light stands, as I said, are 2.6 meters. Um, these have fixed spigots on them, 5 eighths, allowing them to be used with the crossbar. You could also use them as traditional light stands if you wanted to. Uh, normally what I recommend with all light stands is try to get this part parallel with the ground, giving you kind of a bit more stability. That is the rule with most light stands. There are some exceptions um, that I've come across, but most of the time that's usually the case. So what you want to do is loosen this far enough so that can just slide straight on. Lock that off and I'm just going to loosen lock, loosen, come out, find that roughly, lock that off, and now I can put that on. One side is always kind of loose. This just means that when you lock this off, you'll still be able to adjust it. Again, just undo the screw, and that way, the spigot can go straight in and you can lock it off. So unlike the one that has multiple pieces that have special spigots, these ones just use standard spigots, which makes them quite handy if you actually want to use them for more than just a, um, a background system. And there you go. If you're interested in photographic backgrounds or photography or video in general, please visit your local Dragon Image. Thanks.